that story about the horse. He had his favorite horse. The what? Horse. He had a favorite horse named Dick. Right? Is that true? Yeah. Uh, Hor- uh, Anton, Anton did. Uh, in your, the, your grandpa. Yeah, in Helber, yeah. Iowa, when he ran the butcher market. Do you, I'm not. I don't know too much about that. Okay. He used to take the horse, and the horse would lead the animals into. That's the, right. They did that in Nebraska too. Oh, he did that in Nebraska yeah. too. Mm-hmm. I know Dad told about it one time, uh, one, one man in the neighborhood had a bull that was kind of ornery and they wanted to get him to market. And there was no trucking in those days. They had to drive him or, or lead him or, or, or whatever. Or lead him. Yeah. And uh, he hired my grandpa, Anton, to take that bull to market. He had a horse that was really well trained for that and a saddle horn, tied him on the saddle horn and he got that bull to market that way. And that was in Helber. No, that, that, that would have been in, in Nebraska. At, at Butte, oh, Nebraska. In Butte, Nebraska. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Adam found a picture of a how a building in Iowa, in Helber, Iowa. Yeah. Where we think he did because he used to butcher meat too. He was I a think butcher. He did. Yeah, for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and to make a living. And uh, he found the picture of a building oh, where yeah? he probably yeah. did that in Helber, Iowa. <clears throat> How did he meet Minnie? That is something I don't know. Okay. I couldn't tell you. She was a very likable person. She was small, tiny. Okay. And she was born in Germany. So she must have spoke some English then by the time oh, she yeah. was older? Or She's, I don't know if she spoke English when she got here, but she did when when you later, knew her later. better. Yeah. Yeah. She was 92 when she died. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you got her beat. I'm 91. Oh, you're 91. I'm sorry. <laughs> you got to work that. Out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still working on it. Um, <clears throat> did your father tell you other stories about your grandpa? Yeah, he told you different stories about it. He said he could. He was a jack of all trades. He could do put almost anything, and um, train horses. He could train horses for other people. They couldn't do nothing with him. He could do it. So yeah, that was another thing he, he did. He had a, a knack with horses or mules. They use a lot of mules too, and uh, he could train them and get the meanness out of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's a picture that Adam found too of uh, your dad with your mother and they look like they're newlyweds, not long married. And your dad's and your mom are s- standing next to each other and he's got the reins of three mules. Yeah. Yeah. And they're, <laughs> yeah. And so that's, they had a lot of mules back they, then. They used quite a few mules out there. Oh, okay. They had both horses and mules, but they used mules. They're, they're more sure, sure-footed and they're tough. More endurance. Yeah. They can endure the hard work better. Yeah, oh, yes. Uh-huh. <clears throat> They grew mostly wheat out there? Ah, uh, they grew some corn, grain, certain amounts of grain. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if it was all wheat, mm-hmm. if it was a lot of oats, oats, maybe some oats too. Okay. But they did grow a lot of grain because mm-hmm. they had a accumulate the grain and shock it and haul it into the trash machine. Oh, yes. Trash it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did, did he dairy ever? Did he milk? I don't think they milk just a few cows for their own for use. For their own use. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> I heard he was a blacksmith too. Is that right? He could, yeah, he could do blacksmith work. Yeah, he was pretty handy at that. He could do most anything. Mm-hmm. And my dad talked about that different times. That his dad could just do most anything. He said. But that those are odd jobs he did on the side to help people out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That wasn't his business. Right. But he he was just good at that kind of work and. A lot of people wouldn't even touch it because the bull is kind of ornery when they get mean. <laughs> he could kill you. And he had a he had a good horse. That horse would, if the bull would want to charge the horse or anything, the horse knew how to duck. And if the bull wanted to run and get away, then the horse would just brace himself and throw the bull right off his feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then and then your father, um, he had a farm out there for some time. Yeah, he was farming. Yeah, because then when the three of you were, you and Mary and Rita were all born out there. Yes. Yes, and mm-hmm. so he was mm-hmm. farming out there. Yeah, yeah. he okay. was farming, and he had his, his mules. He had a car, too. 
Oh, he had a car. Yes, he he had a 1918 Chevy. <laughs> <laughs> And he sold that then he when sold he came that, back yeah. on the train. Yeah. yeah. And um, the piano that Rosa's got it now, my mother had, and she got from her mother. It was a gift of some sort from her mother. Yeah. And it was a very good piano. And she took, and it. She took it along to Nebraska when she moved out there. Yeah. Did you hear that story? No. She used to keep house for a priest at Armstrong. And she developed a respiratory problem and the doctor recommended a drier climate. Okay. And so the priest at Armstrong knew of a priest in Burt, Nebraska, Butte, Nebraska, that Father Stahl was his name. He needed a housekeeper. That's so how she, she went out there it. and she had a job right now. <laughs> That's how it ends. So she was a housekeeper at Armstrong. Yeah. But she didn't have, uh, the priest out there didn't have a housekeeper too long because dad found her and he <laughs> <laughs> lost the housekeeper. <laughs> now your great, your, your great aunt, um, um, Mary. Mary would be... Um, my aunt, my aunt. Oh yeah, your aunt, aunt, yes. Your aunt, she was a housekeeper too. Yeah, she was. She was never married. She was a priest housekeeper. Yeah. And she lived to be 95. She was 95. Yeah. Because we went through Butte yeah. and we stopped at Butte and uh, we found their gravestones. It was, oh, yeah. it was your, your grandpa, your grandma, and Mary. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, don't know if I should repeat this or not, but I, I don't know who told us, but we just heard not too long ago that Mary, when she was a young girl, got involved with some hired hand or something and she had a child. Do you remember that? Yeah, that wasn't... Could that be. Wasn't, that, that wasn't... She, not, as, not as a teenager with somebody else. That was with the priest. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You well, wonder, you know, I mean, human nature, <coughs> you wonder how yeah. these people can do that, that with... Yeah. And know. it never was... Um, Talked about her. She and came to Wisconsin. She had the baby here, left it for adoption, went back to Nebraska. That's the story? Yeah. yeah. That's oh, okay. She was living with us. Who told us that? Well, I was there, Catter. I was there when it happened. Uh, oh. So it was talked about a little bit. Yeah. You, it wasn't hush hush that uh, nobody knew what no, she was. No, it was kept quiet. But I, yeah. was, I was part of the family when she came. Oh, well, you never told me that. How old were you about then, you think? You were probably uh, in grade school or something? Yeah. yeah. I couldn't tell you just what okay. year, but I was in grade school, yeah. And then she went back? She went back. Mm -hmm. And she was cooked for the priest. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. So, so we have one relative out there. We don't know where. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we don't know who it is, or where he or she is, or if they're still there. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you remember when that happened? Oh, absolutely. When she came. I know. Remember, she came. She had the baby here in Wisconsin. So she came to your farm, stayed yes, at your farm? Yes, she lived with us until it was all over with. Oh, so she came pregnant and sure. uh, then delivered in Fond du Lac or whatever? Yeah, and, and left her for adoption. It was adopted. Yeah. And uh, she went back to Nebraska. Oh. Kept house for the priest. Okay. Yep, there you go. We're all human. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you probably met her sister then, Catherine. And Please? Catherine, Kate, 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 you know, Kate. Oh, yeah. You know. We slept at her house a couple times. Already. Yeah, you Two probably times. knew her better than any yeah, of them. Better his. than the other ones, yeah. yeah. So, Kate, uh, she had a lot of children. Yeah, yeah, I don't remember how many. Do you remember the Sybils? They're the ones that had the nuns. Yeah, they had yeah. three nuns. Yeah, one just died recently. Yeah. Did you go to that? Uh... We, we were gone. Oh, you were gone. Yeah. There was Ray, and no, there, uh, who was as old as you? Ed. 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 Was he, your age? He died only 54, I think he was. He was worked for the aircraft company out in California, okay. or in the West anyway. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't remember if he died of a heart attack or if he had a, a brain hemorrhage or some darn thing. He was your age. He was, he was only 54 when he died. Yeah, he was my age. 
and he had an older sister that was a year older than me. See, my parents and his parents were married the same day, together, double wedding. Oh, okay. In 1919. In 1919, and my parents had a um, stillbirth, I think it was. They had Florence. Well, she's a year older than I am. Oh, okay. And she's now a deceased. She's died. That whole family is gone except Tony, I think. Mm -hmm. Aunt Catherine? Yeah. The whole family is gone. Oh, no, 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 one, one, one of the nuns is left here. That's, That's right. right. Yeah, she one lives of, in Milwaukee. One of the nuns and yes. Tony. kind of puny and he, not very healthy and he had some intestinal problem and he also had a flaky skin for some reason I don't know why. Real dry flaky skin. Dry flaky skin, yeah. And he wasn't very healthy. He only lived to be 80, uh, 23, I was going to say 23, 83, 23. Yeah. And he moved to Wisconsin with us, come to think of it. We didn't say that before. Oh, he, he actually, oh, I thought he came out later. Oh, he actually moved out I, with you. I'm not even sure about that, no. Oh, okay. I thought he moved with us, but I'm not sure. Okay. He might have came later, I'm not sure. He died at 23. Yeah. So, um, going back to Nebraska then, your grandpa, um, there's a story where your, your dad and his brother Joe intervened once. Like, he yes. had an alcohol problem. Yeah, yeah. My, my grandpa became alcoholic. And I often wonder if it, he had arthritis so bad, they call it rheumatism. Oh, he did. He was bedridden with it. It oh. was so bad. And I often wondered if he maybe got alcoholic on the tongue, taking a good drink to kill the pain. Yeah. Because a lot of people did that in those days. Right. They didn't have the painkillers they got now. Right. Anyhow, uh, when he'd get drunk, he'd come home from town, he'd be drunk. He was mean with my grandmother, and that's how Uncle Paul, did you, who'd you say? Your father. My dad and Joe. Uncle Joe. Joe, I think. Joe. They intervened, and they put him in his place. Mm -hmm. Leave her alone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that one picture where the kids were all lined up there, and he looked pretty rough, I tell yeah. you. Yeah. He died young. Yeah, 40s. 47. 47. Yeah. My dad says he got up during the night, took a good strong drink, never got up again. Died in bed. Yeah. And then he must, your dad must have ran the farm for a while then, huh? Or dad and, yeah. And his brothers. And the brothers that are next to him. Yeah. Dad was the oldest one at that yeah. time. Who was the next brother? Was that Joe then? <clears throat> Joe, I think, was, was next. The, and there was a Ted in there too, but he was a little younger. Wasn't Ted was he? younger. Yeah. Ted lived to be 91. <coughs> and Joe died quite young. I think he was only in the 40s, I believe. He died with a ruptured appendix. And my dad went out to that funeral. It was during the Depression years, so he went alone to the funeral on a train. You couldn't go. Yeah, for the yeah. only cross country transportation there was in those days. And when he came back, he said, I'd, I wouldn't go back there to give me 200 acres free because they went through the dust storms. And he said, dust is piled up around the buildings like snow.
uh, what are your, what's your first memory when you were young? I can remember moving to Wisconsin. I remember walking with my mother beside that train. And there was something about that train that scared me. It was the toilet. You look down there and you could see the stairs go by. <laughs> you just did it right on the tracks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now that was just a separate car or that was just a little boxed in area on the car? A little boxed in area, I think it was. Now did you all come out as a family or did yeah. you did? Yeah. She brought her piano boxed up. Yeah, all came with Wisconsin. You. everything at the same time. But the machinery and everything else stayed out there.